Alright, there. This is Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Network. And this, this is Game Master 13,000 presenting to you Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Network. It's a site basically you can play Yu-Gi-Oh! cards online. It's You don't have to download it and it's totally free as far as I know. Now, you... Let's see, this says right here, I don't know if you can see this, but it says this site is n in no way affiliated with Konami or Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game. So, that means there might be some restrictions to cards you can get in Deck Constructor. You basically just you have, this is the register page, you basically just type your user's name in, password, and email, like you always do in normal registers. You're going to need your email in order to open up a, um, in order to open up an access account, so you can activate it. So, they'll tell you about that, if you try to register. Alright, see. Let's see. Now, oops. Huh. Price of Darkness. Oops. Well, my username is not Price of Darkness. Price of Darkness. Sorry about that. So, you know what? I'm not having a very good time with this. Ah, oh, the insert button's on. Man. There. Perfect. Prince of Darkness 13. Well, I already spent a minute trying to get myself logged in. Accidents. Anyways, now... Change password is basically pretty self-explanatory. It's... Change your password. You got a Yu-Gi-Oh card on a keychain. You basically just type in your current password, new password, to confirm your password, blah, blah, blah. Not really exciting. Now, this is the private chat. You basically... This is, when you click this, you have to know a user you want to know to have a private chat with him or her. But the user has to be online in order to, to be activated. This is the view, that's where you get to view users that are already online. Currently there are now, well it's changing rapidly, but there currently are now 16, there are now 60, no wait, 6,100 and change, remember changing rapidly, uh, 17,000 people on right now, okay. Now, and this is the public chat, where people, you basically chat publicly, whatever, it's basically a public chat, you just type in what you want to say here. So, this is the My Profile. My Profile is where you basically change your profile. I don't have anything written here. Um, this is the dual. This is the um, deck backs you have. You can change it if you want to. Let's see, but you need experience to cost that. There are like a lot of deck backs, and some of them are actually really cool. I haven't seen them all, but I like some of them. They require a lot of experience, as you're seeing at the bottom right here. This one requires like 15, like 750 experience points in our tax access. You can ignore my family chat ring in the background. Um, alright. Let's see, I like this one. It's pretty cool. Well, I showed you a lot of death packs. This is the standard one you start off with. It's pretty dull. Now, this is the photos where you basically just change your photo, like just click on it. Now, now let me show you something. Like in the deck backs, you need a certain amount of not experience, but wins in order to activate some of them. These are already the default de uh, pictures you can use. And it gets all the way up to this. It gets all the way up to the dice guy, which is about to appear soon. Pro Chaz, I forgot his name is. That guy. And De and Dice Man. Let's see. I want to get Celtic Guardian right here. You got like ten wins. Same with this dragon here. And 
Cross Dragon. I'm currently using the younger, the Yugi background, not the Yummy Yugi one. Alright then, now let's exit, and this is the ranking. The ranking board is basically where you view all the rankings for all the other characters and all the other um, players online. This is the wins. I don't really know how these other two are calculated, but all I know is wins are basically pretty much self-explanatory. How many duels you won. Now, in order for your ranking to go up, you have to play on advanced duel rated, but we'll get to that as soon as I get to the duel room right here. Now, deck constructor. Deck constructor is basically the foundation of the game where you construct your decks. Let me show you this soon as it loads. It might be a little slow on my computer. You can ignore my little sister. I don't know that game, Kai Kai. Um, I guess having a little short conversation with my sister, trying to help as a game if he wants. Um, you might have to ask one of your other, um, you might want to ask Shahada or someone. <laughs> Alright, anyways. Now, this is basically where you see all your cards. You basically type in the card you want here, this is the name. You let's say I want to type in Dark Magician. But I'm not going to type it in all the way, because you get more cards that way. Dark Magician. Now, I'm going to give you a little hint for a key to a good Dark Magician deck. Dark Magic is... This is the card where you get to view it all the way up here. The big screen this is where you read it. Um, I don't sure if you can see it, but it says, Activate only when you control a base of Dark Magician card on the field. Destroy all spell cards and trap cards your opponent controls. And, Black Magic Curtain. It's if you can if you if they activate this card, you cannot special summon, you cannot normal summon, flip summon, or special summon this turn. They have your life point to special summon one dark magician from your deck. Very good. Dark magician, dark magician girl, dark magician. Let's see, magician of dark magician of chaos. Don't mind that. I don't really know what that's for. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, all right then, and now. Description, basically let's say you want to type in something, you want to know a card that gets you gain life points. Now... I don't really use this often because it's, it's kind of difficult to get a valid description that you want. Easy to all these cards. Some of these are actually very reliable, but I don't really use a lot of them. Now, this is... You basically just, if you want to, you just drag and drop. You take the cards and you drag and drop it here. Let's see. I have quite a few. The functions here are... I have quite a few cards here. The functions for a clear deck, pretty self-explanatory. If I want to clear all the cards out of my deck, I just press this button. Sort deck, don't really know what that does, and quite frankly, I never really used it or clicked it before. This is deck. I have quite a few decks right here. This is where you view all your decks. Default is the one that appears in the door room. Uh-oh. Alright then, I got 50 seconds left. Let's wrap this up and save deck is basically saving deck. Set as default, you set as the default deck. And delete deck, you delete one of your decks. Rename and new deck, priest of exclamatory. exclamatory. Alright then, I got 30 seconds left. Now, this is the dual room. I'll explain more about the dual room in my one of my net later videos. Um, Alright then, I have like 18, 17, 16, Alright then, um, this has been Game Master 13,000 presenting to you Dual Network. In my next video, I will now sh I'll show you how to use this little thing.